Hello, uh, this is a video about um, specifically the Gigabyte B650 Eagle AX motherboard, but it should apply to other Gigabyte motherboards. It's a few little tweaks that if you've got this motherboard are gonna make your life a bit easier. Okay, so uh, the first one I'm gonna show you is about the RAM. So when it boots into the BIOS, you press delete to go into the BIOS. Uh, if you go to advanced mode here, then you can see you've got advanced memory settings here. Go into there and you can see there's memory context restore as an option. Put that to enabled. What that will do is it will speed up the boot because it will train the DDR5 RAM, but it won't do it every single time the machine boots. Now when it's on auto, sometimes it does it quickly, sometimes it does it slow. But if you find that, the, and this has got a diagnostic LED for the RAM, if you find the diagnostic LED for the RAM stays on a long time, and the boot process takes a little bit longer than you think it should, go in here and enable memory context restore. Okay, especially if you've enabled XMP. Right, okay, so I'm gonna go back to settings again uh, and we'll look at the next one. When you boot into Windows, well, let's see it. I'll save and exit and we'll go into Windows and I'll show you something in Windows that you might find a bit annoying. So we'll let it, let it boot up again. I'm using um, sort of Wi-Fi HDMI because it means I can twiddle the thing around if I need to. So we'll let it boot up. Uh, it's, now I've just enabled that setting. It's taking a bit longer to do the RAM and you can see probably that there's a little red light down there. Now it's on VGA, now it'll be on boot and then we'll see Windows. So the first time it does that, it trains it and then remembers it. So here comes the, uh, here comes the operating system, which obviously is Windows 11 at the time I made this video. So here it comes. Uh, there's Windows 11. And I'll move this box out of the way because um, it's going to obscure what we're looking at. In this bottom corner here, on the system tray, there is an icon. And you click on it and it says eject. <laughs> so it's, it's basically the hot swap function. So you put... Now this isn't true for M.2, so if you use an M.2 you won't see this, but if any of your drives are two and a half inch SATA SSDs, then you can see there, it, the SATA ports are treated as hot swap bays, right? So we'll fix that. What I'll do is I'll restart it and go into the BIOS. So I'm gonna tap the key, like this. And you can see now it's booting up a little bit faster because um, because that memory context restore is enabled. Right, so you click settings, go into I/O ports, and then you've got SATA configuration down the bottom there. Click on that, and you can see there it says chipset SATA hot plug. Chipset SATA port hot plug is enabled. Click on that and choose disabled. Right, and then save that. Okay, and what that will do is it will turn off the hot swap function. What's interesting is that hot, a lot of motherboards do have start the hot swap function, except Windows isn't very good at supporting it. In fact, the consumer versions of Windows don't really support it at all. So though you see it as eject, it's not, it's, it doesn't really work very well. So um, that's, obviously that's booting up a lot better now. So now in the bottom corner, you don't see that icon because it's not doing the hot swap. So the next thing is you go into settings and you go into IO ports and you have gigabyte utilities download configuration as an option. Click on that and then click disabled and that will stop it trying to download the gigabyte software if you don't want to use it like that so i'll do save and exit on that 
So those are the, the sort of three little tweaks that I would do to this motherboard. I hope it's been useful to you. Um, the editing is a bit clumsy, but <laughs> hopefully you can just follow it quite easily and, and have a bit of a quieter life and get rid of those little annoyances. So if it's helped you, um, liking and subscribing is appreciated. Uh, if you've got any comments, stick them in the comments. Um, I try and reply to every single comment. Um, and um, as ever, thanks for watching.